So let's go over some of these common prefixes that you might run across and help you understand what each one of them means. Um, so I'm going to first start off sort of like in the middle here. So these prefixes are going to attach to some base unit, right? So our base unit might be meters or it might be um, grams or something like that. But just any base unit we can attach these units to and modify the sort of the value of that. And so let's just first go over an example of some of these. So for example, this prefix deca, the symbol is going to be da, and this multiple is 10 to the first power. And so what do we mean by that? Well, it means that whatever we add this prefix to, that's what we change our value by. So let's say if we have a um, decagram, so we add this prefix to our gram, that's our base unit. So now we take one gram times our multiplier, so times 10 to the first power, which is just 10, and that makes our value 10. So a decagram is equal to 10 grams. And so let's say, let's say we also do it with kilo. So let's say we have a kilogram. So with a kilogram, we do one gram times 10 to the third power. So that would be, we have to move our decimal places three times over. So that would be 1,000, right? So we start a decimal here, one, two, three, times 10 to the third power. So one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And that's just sort of what each one of these prefixes does, is that it attaches to our base unit and then modifies it by multiplying it by this factor. And so we have listed out a bunch of these. Um, so we have, for example, um, once again, deca, symbol DA, 10 to the first. Hecto, symbol is H, which is uh, in a multiple of 10 to the second power. Kilo, K, 10 to the third power. Mega, it's a big M, 10 to the sixth power. And we have a prefix giga, so like um, if you know like gigabyte, byte would be our base unit. So we multiply a byte times 10 to the ninth, and that's one gigabyte is equal to that many bytes. Symbol is big G, then tera, symbol is big T, the multiple is 10 to the 12th. And here we go have the opposite end, so we go into our negatives. So we would move our decimal back one place, so deci, symbol D. 10 to the negative first power, centi, so let's say like a centimeter, cm for centimeter, the multiple is 10 to the negative second power, so 1 times 10 to the negative second, we take our 1.0, move our decimal back two places, 0 0.01, so 1 centimeter is going to be equal to 0 0.01 meters, and that makes sense. Next we have milli, which is a M symbol, multiple is 10 to the negative third, micro, which is a mu, Greek letter mu, 10 to the negative six, nano, symbol N, multiple 10 to the negative ninth, pico, symbol is P, and the multiple is 10 to the negative twelfth. And so these are just some of the common prefixes that you might run across when studying science. And these are good to memorize, these are good to know, so you know what each one means, and the multiple of it, so you understand sort of the value and the impact that it has on your base unit. Hope this helps.